Big's always good. You can make small parts in a big machine, but you cannot make big parts in a small machine. And so that's where the 770 really comes into play. When the printer showed up on our dock, it was kind of like everybody was kind of excited and waiting for it. And so when we pulled it off the trailer, uh, we had my maintenance guy was there, and so he started pulling screws and we started pulling panels and very easy to uncrate. And not knowing what this printer was gonna look like was kind of exciting. And then of course it had to be packaged with shrink wrap and bags. So we still, once we pulled the walls off, we still couldn't see what it looked like. But once we got the shrink wrap off, it's unbelievably, and this is crazy to think, pretty machine. It's a very handsome looking machine. So I was kind of excited to see just how nice it is. And I'd heard through people that you're gonna really like this thing. So that was kind of cool. And it rolled very easily, so we were able to put it in place quite easily. And we plugged it in and powered it up and boom, popped right off. As much as we've run FDMs previously, there's always little things that you think you know that you don't know. And having a particularly an applications guy on site, um, he's worked with this thing from pretty much the ground up. He knows all the nuts and bolts and uh, gave us some insight into some things to be looking for and what to be watching for. So I think that stuff's all very invaluable. I've had a little introduction into GrabCAD previously and I've seen major advances in that software since I used it last. I've now seen some of the things in Insight now being introduced into GrabCAD. Everything about it, it seems like it's very, very user-friendly. Loading material was extremely simple. Changing heads was extremely simple. The touchscreen seems to be very intuitive, and we basically uh, were running apart uh, in pretty short order. That couldn't have gone a whole lot better, I don't think. It was, uh, it was pretty seamless. That big part was phenomenal. There were some features on that that were built vertically that had holes in them, they are like uh, bosses. And the holes seemed to be very concentric, very true, and that was kind of exciting. So yeah, I, I think the quality of the, what I've seen so far looks outstanding. I'm anxious to see that F770 performs on this as compared to my other FDMs that I'm running. Knowing the uh, reliability that Stratasys has shown to us over the 20 years we've been printing with them, I have nothing but confidence that this F770 is going to perform equally as well. So I'm totally confident that when you guys leave our building today, we're going to be running parts tomorrow. No problem whatsoever.